exactly what I was saying earlier about what Disney is. You know, it, it's, it's a particular place in time. And when it felt like that, that California Adventure had a problem with it, it was like trying to be too many things. I didn't know what era I was in. And, and I felt like, like this was kind of the same thing in the sense of, of that, that maybe this was trying to be too many things. And instead, instead let, let, let's just make it a place where you are transported. You are transported to Radiator Springs. And it's there, and it's alive, and it'll make it as real and detailed as possible. And so everybody, it was like the obvious thing. He said yes. And, and I remember Bob was like so excited about that idea. His sons are so crazy about the cars and the park's characters. And I think we all wanted to go there. Because in the making of the movie, I was so, um, I kept saying, I just want to make every building, everything so appealing. You want to be there. And it has really inspired um, families all over the United States to travel up to you know, Route 66. It has really enlivened the road for that same philosophy of wanting to be there. And so we said, let's build it as exact in detail as we can. So go back one moment, as long as you can. Yeah. So this this was became kind of the um, the model where you could right by the, the winery there. You, you, it's a, the beginning, and it's a straight shot, just like it. In the movie, right up Route 66 to the courthouse there, and uh, and as you come in, you, you'll see that that it's it's nearly identical um, to exactly what's in the movie. There's a couple of buildings that, that we had to work around, but, but they they they've been designed beautifully to fit into the environment. But it's exactly what's in the movie, um, in in the, in the right order. And so we, in, this is, was going to be a, a new land. It's not a new attraction, a new land. Three new attractions and, and all the other stuff. And so we wanted to have food because food, good road food on Route 66 is a really important place. And it's a part of, um, it's a part of Radiator Springs. One of the things that in the development of the movie, we took a look at things, uh, things that cars need and things that humans need and made them one and the same. And the obvious one is a gas station to a car is a restaurant to us. And so that's what kind of merged together. And so Flo's Viet Cafe was in the movie, but it basically was a gas station. It's the local town diner where everybody went and it's where all the problems are discussed and solved, you know, like a good small town diner. And so it was a natural for us to, to, to make that into a restaurant. Close up on Motel, of course, you can't stay in in uh, cars land, but it. Uh, but we evolved that into you know some food service and also um, uh, Fillmore. So he made organic um, organic motor fuel, and so it becomes a place for, for drinks. And so it goes, became a natural place. The shops, the obvious one, is the Raider Springs Curios that Lizzie runs, and it's as wonderfully kitschy as ever. And um, and then the the Ramones, the the paint shop became. A, uh, a, one of the, the key signature uh, stores in the place, and then, and then of course, Oscar. <laughs> um, I will just take a moment to say, as a child, this was my favorite ride at Disneyland. I dream about it and I look forward to, to riding it all the time. And I'll never forget, I was so little, I was too light for it. And I and my dad had to ride with me. And we kind of sat sort of in the middle and everybody bumped into us and stuff, you know. But I'll never, ever, ever forget it. And the sound, I mean, the, those who remember it, there's a particular sound to it and a feeling, oh my goodness, it's so special in the way it moved. And I think this has been one of those phenomenally, um, it's that, that carrot that an engineer has always had in front of them to try to figure it, figure this out again because it, it failed. And so um, the, the amazing engineers came up with, with a engineering solution for it. And so we decided to make it Luigi's Flying Tires. And, uh, and I think it is so awesome. Is, and we have some pictures later you can see. But it is one of the most cool and impressive, right? So it's like a gigantic um, air hockey table. You know, right? it's so cool. Really, it's exactly the same philosophy. And this is us on, on the test of the engineering. They built a big uh, 
you know, test um, facility for it. And, and this is <coughs> this is just one fan, and, and it's uh, eight times this size. So it's a huge um, field that you get to ride on, and it spins. And it also spins. And then we came up with this amazing idea, which is so much fun, of um, Mater's um, doing something in Mater's junkyard. And so. We, there's this um, awesome ride system that it, in, in a bug's land, it's um, the ladybug boogie, and, and it's this kind of figure eight thing where it hands off, and in, in Disneyland Paris, they did a little cars ride where you kind of go around and that's where it hands off. And so we had the idea, to don't, don't ride in the things that, in the object that's attached to the ride system. But, but do you remember those little great whip rides that like on Pony Island and Penny Wood and Pittsburgh have? Yeah. Um, and so why don't we ride in the trailer? And, and so we had the idea that, that um, you're riding behind a baby tractor and uh, you're in the trailer and he, he whips you around. And I think Roger has a little video of that the, we had this test. <laughs> in the parking lot of engineering they, they painted the size of those circles that you'll go around we just were towed by a real tractor and they built this this simple thing but look how fun this is this is one of the most fun rides go back and play it honestly it's one of the it's just when you ride you look at it and go oh yeah this is fun when you ride it it is really fun and, and what's and Ladybug Boogie just goes in a figure eight, and so what they've done is they've doubled the size, so it's four rotating um, platforms that you get handed off. So you're going to be whipping all over this place. So it really has a sense that the baby tractors are just taking you through a crazy ride through through Mater's junkyard. How many tractors, Kevin? Twenty-two. Yeah. So we decided to make sure that it's it's. It, Kevin came up with this great name, Mater's Junkyard Jamboree, and so we built this gigantic um, car, uh, jukebox out of car parts, and it's 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 hilarious. And we've got Larry the Cable Guy doing the voice of Mater, and he he just it's so funny. <coughs> it's almost like a sort of a square dance kind of thing. Yeah. Big hoedown, and it's, it's hilarious. Like writing these original songs for Mater to be out there encouraging everybody, and the little tractor is all going around. And, and it's so full, full of energy and, and stuff, and it's really, really fun. And what's going to be exciting is the queue area. Um, is um, We were able to, to keep in uh, the, the farm area, if you remember, there was these kind of sheds that, that people didn't really see. Well, we're actually saving those and using those as um, the, the shade for the, the, the line, the queue. And so it will be all full of memorabilia. You know, we're, I mean, every inch of Cars Land is being covered with stuff because that's the way. And Mater, Mater's junkyard, so it's all memorabilia from his, um, uh, from his, all his tall tales. So Mater's tall tales. So you'll see, you know, his full fighting hat and, and posters. And, so it's going to, it's going to be fun. So you have lots to look at. So, oh. Is there a big runner? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you guys remember e-tickets? <laughs> hey, this is the, e the most e-ticket ride that this has ever done. Um, Cars land itself is 12 acres. Radio Springs Racers, the e-ticket ride, is the biggest ride Disney's ever built. It's six acres, the ride itself. Six acres. It's amazing. So, um, one of the things that, that and very, very, very early on in the um, development of the movie cars, I had gone to Florida, and I wrote, and one of the things that I've always felt like was missing is some way to do a storytelling ride, a dark ride, and combine thrill to it. Now, we all love the in Pirates how that, that drop goes, there's a little bit of thrill to it. But we don't really have that many storytelling lines <coughs> excuse me, that, that has the thrill, you know, a real thrill ride as part of it. And then I went to Florida and I wrote Test Track. And the Test Track, the right system for Test Track to me was, was, so, um, was so exciting 
and I kept saying, I kept saying this is it. And, and it had, in the early days, it had tremendous mechanical issues. And they were saying, no, 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 no. No, no, no. And then all of a sudden, one day, I love a mansion. Here's they go, I think they sold it. So thinking about it, you know? So, but I always felt like that would be the greatest ride system for a car's ride because you have storytelling. <coughs> Excuse me. Storytelling and, uh, and, and and thrill. And so out of that came came the idea that you get in a ride and you start with that driveless saddle where you go up through the by a waterfall and through the trees and stuff and then and then it takes you into Radiator Springs. And now this is where all the cars are alive. And you've seen downstairs in the engineering section red, how it's full size red that the, the, the eyes moving is just fantastic. And so so you come in, and you're coming into town, the sheriff slows you down, and then he tells Nader to take you, you know, um, to escort you into town. And everybody's real friendly, but Nader wants to take your tractor to me first, so you go tractor to him. And then, and then he says, watch out for Frank. But Frank comes and scares you, and you drive really fast to get away from Frank, and he brings you into town. <coughs> and all of the, the townspeople are there, welcome you, and then with, with um, Sally and the Queen there. And and the car in front of you uh, will go to, into, one car goes into Ramones to get a new paint job. And there's a really great effect with that. And then, and then another car, the car, uh, and your car will go into Luigi's where you get new tires for the race. So it's kind of fun because you know, you, you, you might go in one ride, you might go into the Ramones, and one ride you might go into Luigi's, and what, but what the, that does is it comes out as you come out. Then you're side by side with the car ahead of you, and then um, Doc, Doc is giving you uh, pointers, and then Luigi and Guido say go, and you take off, and we're going to go about 40 miles an hour. Yeah, we talk about 40 miles an hour, and you'll see later in the photographs, I mean, these banks are really steep, and there's there's this great panel hump, and, and the thrill of this thing is unbelievable, but you go 40 miles an hour, and so this is the, the inspiration for this test track, because um, test track, I think, goes about 60, but we've got the really steep bank turns in these panel humps. And <coughs> right, so it's side by side, which is, was really, really fun. And so we started with the, the, we, the basically same test track, um, vehicles and this drone ramp is our sculptor and uh, Andrew here in Schmidt who's one of the key modelers that we worked with on, on all the Cars movies and so we started we were very limited with, with you know sort of the, 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 the car as far as like what we could do but we really worked hard to turn it into a character and, and we have um, we have it's like how many combinations of colors and cars? <laughs> well, we've got two car styles. Two car styles. Style so it's like kind of like a Ferrari, <coughs> like and the other has like a convertible. Right. Like, <coughs> and um, each style has four different colors. We've got eight different colors and <coughs> matching the eye colors in the mouths. They all have smiles. Some are female, some are male. So they all have their individual personality. Yeah. So 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 we tried to be as you know. As you, so it's not all the same the character because in our minds these are all characters that you're writing in. and so um, we want to be as varied as possible so it's not exactly the same car and so it'll be really fun to see you know as you're in the queue area lining up all these different colored cars you know coming through it's going to be really fun and